Cassidy, the Card Slinger Show here on My Psychic Connection, and I'm so excited to be back with everyone. I hope everybody's week is going well. We are already at Thursday nights or Friday morning, depending where you are in the world. Um, but come on in and say hello. We'd love to see who all is here. In case you are new, I will just quickly run through how we do things around here. So I am doing both donated readings and free readings tonight. So if you are interested in getting on the list for a reading, what I need from you is your specific question. So what is a specific question? I'd like to know what it is that you want to know. Lexi's here says, yay, hi Cassidy. Hi Lexi, thanks for joining us. Do come in and say hello. I love to see love to see all the beautiful folks jumping in here. Um, so yes, specific questions. I need to know what it is that you want to know. I'm not doing general readings here this evening. If you do want a general reading, head on over to www.mypsychicconnection.com and you can get all of your general reading needs taken care of over there. Hi, Miss Collins, yay. Hello, welcome everyone. One, come on in. So, um, other things I'm not doing here this evening. So, no general readings. I'm also not doing any legal readings or medical readings. Anything related to pregnancy, birth predictions, things like that are off the table tonight. I'm also not a psychic medium. So, if you're interested in getting a, a message from your loved ones on the other side, check out one of our other shows. Um, we've got a lot of fantastic resident psychic mediums here. Or you can head on over to the website and they can help you with that there as well. So, like I said, if you want to get on the list for that free two-minute reading, you can type in your specific question into the comments. And if you're listening to me somewhere where there's nowhere to type in a question, head on over to YouTube, type in My Psychic Connection. You'll see our logo with the blue tree, and, and the live video will be playing, and you can type your question in. Uh, Taylor's here. Hello. Hey, Taylor. <laughs> um, what else do we need to talk about? Donations. So how our donations work is you will jump the line is very exciting. So free readings are not guaranteed. And if you do want to make sure you get a reading tonight, the donations are the only way to guarantee your spot. All of our donations jump the list. And there are options for a quick reading, a mini reading or a mega reading tonight. The mini and mega readings aren't timed. And if you've got a big, complex situation with multiple questions, that is where the mega reading will really shine. And the mini reading is good for one one specific question, one topic. Um, and I'll dive into whatever it is that you're wanting to know tonight. So games, games are, oh, yes, Audrey, hi, Audrey, she has already started. The first game we have is the emoji contest. So if you want to win a special reading with me later tonight, whoever sends the most emojis throughout the show will win. That's all you have to do. You can send any sort of emoji. I like the hearts. I really like the octopus. Audrey's already got that on loop. <laughs> Audrey has tuned in to, to the the. Uh, emojis that I like. Uh, so, but I do like anything, you know, any emojis. And the, the folks in the back do keep count of that. Emma's here. Emma says, hi, Cassidy. So happy to see you. Thank you, my dear. Happy that you are here as well. Um, and along with the emoji contest, I will be doing the yes or no game at the halfway point around there. So get those yes or no questions ready, as well as my guess the playing card game a little bit later too. So guys, I'm just, I'm so excited to be here. I hope everyone, as I said, hope everyone's week is off to a great start. Do come in, say hello. Let me know where you're from. If you're, you know, from anywhere in the world. <laughs> I like to, we are, we are an international global community and it's cool to see how, how many different places we reach. And I will say do, do, uh, please like and share this video. Share me out far and wide. Any friends that that you think could use a reading, I would say anyone that you maybe want to tell off or have someone else tell off for you, just send them this video and say, how about you ask her a question and I'll do it for you. So <laughs> without any further ado, let's see which deck. Oh, I didn't even ask. Typically, I like to ask how many how many decks I have on my table. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve readily accessible and who knows how many in the desk. So let's get started. Lily is here. Hi, Lily. I'll take my first question. Who have we got tonight? 
we have got Gemma. Hello, Gemma. Gemma asks, uh, Adam's ex has blocked slash unblocked me lots of times in the past few weeks on Instagram. So made my account private. Then last night I had a follow request from her best friend, which I think was or both uh, of them trying to spy on me, which is weird. I don't really know them and haven't spoken in a long time. So not sure why now, but I've blocked Carly and anyone associated. Will she leave me alone now? Ah, I, that's cool. I, I said the thing the other day. It's like, let people keep talking about you because if uh, if they talk about themselves, then no one will listen, right? <laughs> so there's my, my uh, caddy moment. So let's take a look if she will, in fact, leave you alone. Has she gotten the picture now that you have uh, blocked her and her friends and folks associated with her? Okay. Oh, dear. I mean, should she leave you alone? If she was listening to this, I would say, you know, darling, go get the life. But, um, Will she leave you alone? I think it will continue to ebb and flow a little bit, unfortunately, here. Um, the cards I have suggest that she she likes to be, it's not even just so much nosy, although I'm seeing that as well, but really likes to know other people's business. She seems like a rather gossipy individual. Um, I do have the Fool card reversed as well as Ordinariness and Control with New Vision reversed. So on her end, I mean... I don't think she's going to cause any problems in your connection. I'm not seeing her being able to actually interfere with anything, but she seems to, she just has really gotten hung up on, on like obsessing over you in some way, uh, obsessing over different people at different times. It feels like it cycles with this, with this woman. So I do think she'll leave you alone in a sense, but I, it, it feels like she will come back around, try to follow you, maybe have someone else try to follow you. So I like the fact that your account is on private. I think that is the best for you because you don't need this in your life. And this woman could definitely get one of her own. I've also got the card of laziness here on her side. So, I mean, yeah, enough said on that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I've got for you there, my dear. I hope that that was helpful. And thank you very much for your question. Um, uh, you know, may may everyone out there who uh, finds other people's lives more interesting than their own realize that they have a life to live as well. And, you know, we can all do beautiful and wonderful things. And there's no need to, uh, you know, spend our time stalking others. But a lecture for another day. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go ahead and take our next question. Who have we got next? Folks, yes, we've got our first donation of the night for a quick reading. This is from Audrey. Audrey, thank you so very much for your donation. It really helps support the show. And we also, this this month, uh, $1 of every donation is going to Female Strong, which is an excellent organization. So thank you so much for supporting us and also supporting them. I can do, wait, we've got these little, I don't know if it'll work. Hey, there we go. <laughs> we've got a donation. All right. So Audrey asks, Wes proposed on our Vegas trip, but now his ex-wife Cassandra got our video and is apparently losing her mind. Theme tonight, folks. Uh, if she is plotting to sabotage us, is there anything particular to watch out for? Great question, my dear. She says, ha, I have a stalker. <laughs> yeah, okay. let's take a look at Cassandra, what's going on for her, um, and to see, you know, if there's anything on your end to be concerned about if she's going to try anything. Um, yeah, very interesting from the, the reading I was just doing there and what I had just said. So let's take a look. All right. Losing her mind. Oh, is she losing her mind? Oh, and whoever you have heard that from, I feel like they have a, a good chunk of the story. They maybe don't have the whole story, but it, it feels like, oh, she is just losing her mind to anyone and everyone who will listen. So yes, I mean, she seems to be very uh, vocal, very hung up, caught up in the romantic relationship that you are having. So I do apologize for that situation. Um, in some way, like she, I've got the card here of, she says her own kids. <laughs> yeah. So I've got the four of swords here as well as the hierophant and the world card. So to be honest, I feel like there's very little that she can actually do to cause any real damage in your relationship. Um, there's nothing she can do to prevent it, to stop it, to really meddle her way into, you know, the beautiful connection that you two have together. Um, it's almost just kind of like, 
energetically, if you can, a little bit, sort of putting her in her own timeout and in her own box. Um, you asked if there's anything to watch out for. I mean, this is a, the cards are saying it, not me, a special brand of crazy that I am, I am seeing here. But I think largely how it will affect you, it seems to be one step away. So you will hear whoever it was you heard that she's losing her mind from. Um, a similar, a similar thing like that, it will continue to be a roundabout. Someone will on uh, continue to get this information back to you is what I want to say. Um, but she's, I've got too many cards here to suggest. She says, my Facebook account got hacked two days ago. I'm not seeing that it was her. Um, because I'm getting a sense here that she's, I will say this, she's not powerful enough in many ways, uh, on her own, at least. Uh, she, I mean, it, it does feel like the most damage, like I said, where it seems that it will come through other people. There's not much that she can do, but she seems to have people around her that could, uh, try and push your buttons, try and, and influence your relationship or try and cause problems. I don't see her being successful. To be all the way honest with you here, just to throw that out, I'm not seeing that you need to really watch out too much other than just try and shield your energy from her as much as you can. Block her out. Think of her as some annoying little fly. You can start to feel bad for her a little bit because this is depressing woman. Get on with your life. She says, good, because so did my soon-to-be mother-in-laws. Mm. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> she... No, I've got the Page of Pentacles reversed here. She There's very little that she actually has the power to do or that she can do to cause any real problems in your relationship. I don't, unfortunately, see her stop being trying. It looks like she will still continue to, like I said, complain to anyone who listens or try and get other people to sabotage your connection. She says, yeah, her best friend flipped out or flipped me off yesterday. Oh, these people. I'm very sorry you have to deal with that. <laughs> uh, and I feel like that's sort of the nature of what you can expect coming forward. It doesn't feel like there's much she like, is, is able to do to cause any real problems for you in your life. It will be, and I do think it will blow over as well. Yes, it will. I do think she's going to move on. <laughs> she says, yeah, they're horrible. I'm so sorry. Um, but honestly, what you have is, is a beautiful thing. It's what you want. And it's unfortunately tainted in this moment by her but i i think i really just want to say to you like try and not let this be something that ruins what is such a beautiful and exciting time for you like i i know this certainly can be because the, like i said very special type of 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 crazy almost or like very uh overbearing and uh, uh an energy that's very unpleasant all the way around the board. But I just want to also say, uh, share with you to, you know, enjoy this as well, because this is like a very full circle, full circle moment for you. And I, as much as I could hate on this woman and the way she is conducting herself, I want to put the focus back on how exciting of a time this is for you. And Audrey says, right, I'm trying with a bunch of red hearts. Keep going, my girl. You've got this. I believe in, in your ability to... Uh, to focus on on the exciting part of this like this is this is a very beautiful time i'm super excited for you congratulations again that's so wonderful wonderful to hear um and you know very interesting folks like the she says thanks with a bunch of little uh heart people <laughs> my pleasure my dear and thank you so much for your donation uh really really helps support the channel and i will say too folks if you're interested in getting a a longer reading or if you want to guarantee a reading with me tonight the donation link will be floating around in the chat and you can um access uh whatever type of of re uh, donation <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Whatever type of donation option works for you. And Audrey, there's so many folks coming in with congrats, Audrey. This is so nice. I love this community of people we have here. So do make sure you are sharing me out far and wide. We are growing our community. It's lovely to meet new people and uh, see some new faces. We like to reach as many folks as we can with our readings. So excellent. This is off to a great start. But yes, very interesting. The first couple of readings here tonight, we have this sense of, and this is another, I will say, a uh, uh, a great thing about this show is because even if I'm not necessarily reading for you, uh, you might need to hear something that I am saying. So wherever you fall on the on, if this resonates for you in your life, particularly if you're someone, and I'd like to gently uh, call you out on your behavior. And folks, uh, anytime we can exercise a level of self awareness is a good thing. If what you are doing is obsessing over someone else's life, something someone else is doing. Um, 
is that the best that you can do for yourself? Is that really helping to support your goals? Is that fulfilling for you? I just feel the need to, to pop this message out here because it if I can help one person um, get back on a track that is putting into focus what they want, what is good for them, what is a healthy thing to build, uh, then, you know, my work would be done. So <laughs> I uh, I hope that everyone out there is able to, what, it, what does they say? You know, mind your own business, mind your own business, keep your own things going and, and grow and do wonderful things. And yeah. <laughs> Taylor says, let go, let God. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, I'm excited to keep it moving along here. Who have we got for our next question tonight? We have got Diana. Diana says, when or will I be in a relationship this year with James? Let's take a look. When or will I be in a relationship this year with James? Okay. Let's take a look at the connection between the two of you. Will you be in a relationship with James? Let's start there. Okay. All right. So addressing the will you be in a relationship with James, um, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's not possible or that I'm not seeing that there's a potential connection between the two of you that could grow into something nice. But I seem to have very competing energies towards either a connection that and I, I would imagine this is probably the situation you find yourself in now. It feels very hot and cold. It feels very like you might take a step forward, two steps back. I don't want to keep throwing cliches in, into this, but the, the card I've got here, I've got the six of coins upright, the star and the seven of swords reversed. So it, it's almost like when you're asking when will you will be in a relationship, I want to address what, what that label would mean and look like to both of you. Because it feels like the commitment on... To me, it seems his side. I feel like you are, are with the star card there, uh, willing and ready to commit into this connection when, you know, it's something that you really want and something you would be willing to commit to. But on his side is where I feel that the problem lies. And whether that is, it feels almost either work-related or um, just being pulled in another direction, I feel like he's not, he's not fully ready to commit to this connection at this time. So where you're asking, will you be in a relationship? The way I see this relationship progressing over the next, you know, several months here is it seems quite a bit more of the same. And my my advice to you is, I will say, continue to choose people that choose you. Keep your own heart in. Uh, don't forget to look after yourself. And it's it's not an easy thing when, you know, there's this unknown state in a relationship. If everyone just communicated and everyone <laughs> was was uh, you know able to express how they were feeling and there was open openness and honesty, uh, you know a lot a lot of things would be avoided. But there's not always an easy way to to navigate a connection when it's only one sided. Is what I will say. Uh, Hidden with Shadow says, hi, Cassidy, sending love. Oh, hello. We've got the little kitty picture there. Hello. Thank you so much for coming in. Guys, do say hi. Say hello. I'd love to see who is joining us here this evening. Uh, we've got folks from all over the world. And we've got uh, Parada, ba Parada Band 7000 says, hello, my favorite tarot reader. Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. I love I love being here. I love slinging the cards. Um, this is the Cassidy, the Card Slinger Show. And if you are just joining, yeah, do come in, say hello. I'd love to see who all is here. And if you'd like to get on a list to have a question read this evening, uh, go ahead and type in those specific questions. Libby says, hello. Hi, Libby. Lovely to see you. Sorry, I just need to jiggle my thing here. Uh, there we are. <laughs> so uh, I will go ahead and take my next question. Who have we got? Oh, it's game time. Folks, it is game time. We have got the um, playing card game. Guess the playing card. This is the game that we play often on my show. And if you're interested in winning a reading with me tonight, you will need to guess the playing card. So how this works is right before the show, I had uh, selected a card. I had selected a playing card and I, the folks in the back know what it is. If you would like to win, I'd love to see your guess. So the deck is, is 52 cards. We've got four suits, hearts, <laughs> hearts, spades, clubs, and diamonds labeled ace through 10 and then three face cards, jack, queen, and king. So when I say go, ready, set, go, I'd love to see those guesses. Um, please make sure you are also guessing the suit and the number or, or the card that you are guessing. So don't just say, you know, 
three. I need to know well, three of what are you interested in? It's an excellent intuitive exercise to try and see if you are picking up on anything. Um, you know, are you seeing red? Are you seeing blue? Are you seeing a number? Uh, red or blue? My goodness. If if Mercury retrograde is just taking its uh, having having its way with you, shall we say? <laughs> um, but I uh, love to see all these guesses flowing in. This is wonderful. We are. I am hoping that we have a winner here tonight. Uh, Taylor, Taylor, we have a winner. Taylor says the Ace of Hearts. Congratulations, Taylor. That. We have lost your sound for some reason. Oh, it says you're muted. You have to unmute your mic. Yeah, sorry, I just got to... Are we, can you hear me? Very, very, very low. So it's a change of setting. Oh. Sorry guys, a little tech issue. <laughs> but congratulations. You know what's funny about the aces coming out? When Taylor said ace of hearts, we got the ace of spades. We got the ace of clubs. <laughs> It was a lot of guesses on aces. Tons of aces came through all at once. It was absolutely amazing. Up oh, and we lost connection completely. Guys, don't worry. She will be right back to continue her game. And guys, congratulations. Taylor's going. Ha ha. All right. There we go. Hello. Sorry about that, Taylor. folks. <laughs> so much Please better. All right. I'll leave it to all right. Thanks, everyone. Apologies about that. I don't know what is going on there. Um, Taylor, congratulations. Thank you so much, everyone, for your guesses. It was lovely to see all of the beautiful guesses. But Taylor, you have won a reading with me tonight. So I, I have, have to say this, too, for the radio to hear. But Taylor says uh, people were congratulating Taylor. And she says, I'm Gucci. Just so for everybody <laughs> in the iHeart area I can see that. It was great. Thank Thank you so much, Journey. Yes, apologies about the little technical problem there. I was, yeah, anyways, we're back. We're back and congratulations, Taylor. All right, my dear. So I have got for you this evening a very special deck. If you have been around for a while, I have my ridiculous deck with me. This deck is absurd. It is, the cards are really something else. But <laughs> um, Taylor, my dear, if you do have an area of life that you would like this to pertain to, I will take your question or an area of life. Otherwise, I am more than happy to just, this is the only time on the show, folks, that I will be interested in doing a general reading. So my dear Taylor, I will go ahead and get this shuffling. These cards are just absolutely hilarious. Sorry, my camera is being, being funny here. Um, but let's go ahead and see. I don't see anything from you, my dear. So I'm going to go ahead and lay some cards. And let's take a look at what the message is for you tonight with my rather hilarious deck. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Taylor said love. Okay, perfect. So <laughs> love, please, or general. All right. So the first card I have down here, uh, this is Rhubarb Tony. Okay. Then I have the card of the floppy key. I then have, and and forgive me, but it says, look at this effing hourglass, okay? And then I have the baseball goat. And you're like, what does all this mean? Well, I'm happy to tell you, my dear. So, and particularly in terms of love, I'm glad that you brought that up because this is where this, this set was, was sort of uh, landing for me. So one of the things that we need to talk about with this floppy key is where you are looking for love, what your expectations are, um, because I think you have a very... I will say a realistic expectation. I don't feel the need to say to you, you know, lower your standards or anything like that. It looks like that's not so much the problem, but the floppy key is pointing to, um, I will say either like a time of there not being a lot of movement in an area slash we're, we're going in with the wrong equipment to get the thing that we're looking for. The floppy key is not going to be able to fit into that door handle. And where we have, you know, look at this hourglass. This is talking about, it feels like either a, a sense within yourself of the pressure of time where there's not, uh, there isn't an objective sense that there needs to be someone or love uh, fixed, sorry, <laughs> that there is not, um, don't be putting so much pressure on yourself by how long this is taking or by how long it takes for you to solve a problem, to find the right partner, things like that. It's just showing, I will say, stress from what would feel almost like an external stress, but coming from an internal place with the baseball goat. This is interesting too, because it kind of makes sense with the, with the floppy key as well. Um, 
where it's like, I would say an, an unlikely pairing or an unlikely combination would, would be a very good fit for you. Like a, you know, a baseball goat, like this makes no sense. There is a goat playing baseball. Why is it they're playing baseball? Well, this is saying like where I'm saying, it's not your expectations that need to be changed or shifted. It feels more like your scope of who you would consider. So you don't need to lower the bar on what you are willing to accept or anything like that. Keep your standards high, folks, um, and, and find what you're looking for. But at the same time, with this Rhubarb Tony card, I would say, like, what are the things within yourself that also maybe need, uh, could use a bit more of your attention so that you are in the right, you, you feel compatible to the person that you would want to be with. Does that make sense? Where it's like, you know, we, we can have an expectation or a standard of who we are looking for or what, what a good love relationship would look like. But until we also within ourselves, that self-awareness we were talking about earlier in the show, match what who we need to be to put ourselves in a position to both find that person and, you know, and, and commit to that really that right relationship at the time. Um is both these are both things that I think really could could benefit from your attention. So the how you are looking or how you are going about your love life, I feel needs a bit of a, a tune up or a bit of a, a change in tools of how you are approaching that. Don't be so concerned about the time that things are taking. Um, there is a, you know, we could throw in that there's a divine timing for things, but it, it doesn't need to be rushed for it to be the right thing. And the baseball goat is to look in, I would say, unlikely places or uh, if someone maybe doesn't make the, the best first impression or something like that to go ahead and look past that um, because it's it's not, you know, those first impressions aren't everything. So that is what I have got for you there, my dear. I hope that that was helpful for you. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of the wonderful uh, guesses there tonight. That was lovely to see. The emoji contest is still going in full force. So let's see those beautiful emojis we've got Man, there's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a competition going on here tonight. There's lots of emojis coming through. The folks in the back are keeping track of that. And I will go ahead and grab my cards and get ready to take my next question. Who is next on our list tonight? We have got Emma. Hello, Emma. Let me switch this deck here. Emma says, hi, Cassidy. I'm hoping to take my boyfriend with me to the Canal, uh, to the Canal Days Festival in my hometown this year. I'd like to know how all of my hometown fans slash followers are going to respond when they spot us. All right, my dear. So is this the first time that your boyfriend will be going back to your town, hometown with, with you? I mean, I'm just curious, but let's take a look at how they will respond uh, and how that experience would go, particularly for the other folks in your hometown. It feels like this is a connection they maybe have not seen before. Let's take a look here. Okay. Okay. Um, she says, yes, thank you for that. So, okay. <laughs> well, there's a couple of things. The base energy and foundational energy I have here is the card of playfulness, which is very sweet. Um, so overall, I feel that you will be very, like you will be very well accepted, um, both you and him showing up together. It's canal days. That sounds like a good time. Is this like outdoorsy festival -y, you know, a, a fun time had by all. Like we literally have this clown here walking around and it just feels like um, they see you as a good match. They like what they see. They, you know, fits in very well. All that kind of thing where the, the, there seems to be like a really good meshing between him, you and, and the people that would be spotting you and be around um, for the most part. I would say that is the, the general overarching energy that I see. The first card I have down here as well, I've got the card of comparison, card of the rebel, and the card of the burden. So there seems to be, I would say, you know, people are out there with their opinions and have things to say. I don't feel like you would have any problems with, you know, anyone saying anything to you or being negative or rude or anything like that. I'm not picking up on that, but it seems more like comparison. There might be some comments surrounding either someone you were with previously or, you know, where, where you are right now and where. So that, I'm sorry, my dear, that's all I have time for, for you, for that particular question. But thank you so very much for, for your question. I hope that that was helpful. And she says, people in my hometown have always been super nosy about my love life. <laughs> yeah. What is this theme this evening, folks? Where, man, 
<laughs> it's it's been in a number of ratings sites. It's very interesting how themes seem to trickle about uh, throughout a show. But the uh, the if you are dealing with someone, Eva says yes, thank you. You are so very welcome. Either you know if you're dealing with someone or people that are shall we say not living their own lives and are just trying to live through you. Um, my heart goes out to you. It's different for everyone's situation. But man, if you are on the opposite side of that consider an alternative that would be better for you. <laughs> All right. Um, I could go on that forever in a day, but let's go ahead. I'll take my next question. Who have we got next on our lovely list? <laughs> Folks, we are at the lightning round. So this is always a good time for the next three minutes. I will be asking as, I will not be asking any questions. You will be asking yes or no questions and I will be providing answers as quickly as I can for three minutes straight. Retrograde. Retrograde. <laughs> can you still hear me? Oh no. I, know, oh. I can't. When you said the question, you were going to ask the question. I would love to see where the psychics ask the questions and everybody else answers them yes or no. That, that would, would be, be so fun. fun. <gasps> we'll have to do a reverse day. I like reverse it. Reverse all day. I, I think I like it too. New new game coming soon. You heard it here, folks. Uh, you heard it here first. That is, oh, I like that. That, okay. Perhaps another time. For now, ask as many yes or no questions as you'd like over the next three minutes. I will not be taking any medical or legal questions. And uh, let's see, make sure they're yes or no. I can only say yes, no, or undetermined. I cannot give any additional information. So no hows or whos or whens or things like that. All right, Emma is our first car, uh, question, especially our first card. <laughs> Emma says, will I have a glow up soon when it comes to my appearance? Yes. Love Rhyme says, will Craig and I stay together? Undetermined. Audrey said, did Cassandra get someone to try to get in my Facebook? Yes. To that, uh, Emma said, will I get the last laugh when it comes to my family? Yes. Audrey says, does my ex-husband know I'm getting married? Yes. Love says, will I get, uh, will I be getting a car by summer? Undetermined. Emma says, is my mother envious of me? Yes. Taylor says, does uh, Kessian regret lying? Yes. Uh, Hidden Within Shadows says, will this new insurance plan come through soon? Yes. Audrey says, did Ed have something to do with my Facebook hack? Undetermined. Sherry says, will I see my oldest son soon? No. Lily says, will Tim try to pursue me? Undetermined. Uh, Taylor says, will Cook apologize? No. Emma says, will I eventually live a luxury lifestyle? Undetermined. Audrey says, will Wes and I get married by this summer? No. Taylor says, should I try for a relationship with Frank? No. Uh, Audrey says, will we get married in Glide? No. Uh, Taylor says, should I go to my son's graduation? Undetermined. Emma says, will I have a luxurious wedding? Yes. Lexi says, will my husband and I reconcile? Yes. Hidden Within Shadows asks, will finances get better? Undetermined. Uh, Nita says, will I enter a, a live Will I enter a, li a live commitment soon? A live commitment soon? 
Yes? Oh, that game is so challenging. It is so tricky there. Mm. You probably saw that all over my face and the degrees of my yeses and nos and undetermined. There is so much more that goes into all of these questions. Um, and you know, even some of them where, where there is asked something like soon, uh, that can be a, a very uh, subjective term which changes the, uh, <laughs> the yes or no and how that, that question is answered. Emma says, you did awesome. Thank you so very much. I so appreciate uh, so appreciate everyone's questions. That was a whole lot of fun. And uh, there we are. My camera is focusing. Come on, retrograde. We can do this. Okay. <laughs> ah, this is great, guys. The lightning round is now over, but thanks everyone for playing. The emoji contest is still in full force. So let's see those emojis flowing through. Whoever sends the most will win a reading with me tonight. Uh, as well, if you're interested in, in guaranteeing your reading, the donation link will be floating around here as well. Um, Love says, love the lightning round. It is a good time. It is always so much fun. The um, the donation link will be floating around if you're interested in guaranteeing a reading uh, for a, a quick read, a mini reading or a mega reading. Minis and megas aren't timed. And the quick read is is up to five minutes and good for, you know, just a good, good snappy amount of information. Um, but whatever you are looking for, I am here to help with your questions tonight. And if you're interested in getting a free two minute reading, let's see those specific questions. And as soon as you type in your question, it'll be put on the list and I am reading them through in order. So I'm gonna get to as many as I can here tonight. Let's see, this deck wants to come out to play next. Who have we got next on our list this evening? We have Firefly Magic. Firefly Magic says, hi, how long has the Scorpio been crushing on me for? Was it some time before I knew? And what did he see in me? Okay, so how long has this Scorpio been crushing on you for? Was it some time before I knew? And what did he see in me? All right, let's take a look at what's going on with this particular Scorpio and see if I can get a sense of, we've got many a jump out here tonight. Um, what is it that he saw in you? And uh, how that is looking. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So how long has it been? It, it definitely was before you were aware of it is the sense that I get. It feels that it was kept quite one-sided and quite under wraps before uh, it was made known to you that this crush even existed in the first place. Uh, what the attraction was about, I, this is actually quite sweet. I've got a number of cards here. I've got the Ten of Cups, Two of Wands, the Knight of Wands reversed, temperance, lots of beautiful energy here. It feels as though this particular Scorpio was interested in, one of the re main things here seems to be your, your kindness and how, how you held yourself around other people. Um, it seems like viewing from afar, it, how they, they heard that you were through other people because you didn't know about this crush. So in some sense with that 10 of cups, it does feel like the one-on-one -on -one interactions that you had with them really left a positive mark. Um, it seems to be really quite sweet as well as with that two of wands, the crush seemed to be, I would say rooted in future potential. And not saying it wasn't in the moment, but when when you're crushing on someone, it was it wasn't so much rooted in what they could get with you or be with you in a particular moment. But it seemed like it, it went a bit deeper as to be like, well, you know, we actually could want the same things. I could see myself being with this person in a deeper in a deeper sense. Um, and it feels like they they felt really quite comfortable with you quite quickly. There was a almost like a sense of trust that came through. Um, It's actually quite sweet. Um, it's quite, <laughs> it's quite nice to see that actually. Um, thank you very much for your question. I hope that that was helpful for you. And uh, I, I certainly wish you and, and that particular Scorpio good luck with your connection. Hey guys, we are just cruising right along here. I am having a blast. Let's see those emojis. There's so many emojis coming through. I am not envious of the folks in the back who are keeping track of that, but let's see all of these beautiful emojis. We're going to have one beautiful winner later on this evening. All right, this deck is ready to come out to play. Who have we got next? Oh, 
folks, we've got a donation for a quick reading. It's Audrey. Hello, Audrey, my dear. Thank you so much for your donation. As I said before, um, $1 of every donation is going to Female Strong this month. So thank you so much, Audrey. It's so, it's so sweet. Um, and it really helps support the show. And, you know, look at the smile. Look at the smile. All right. Audrey says, was it someone in the family that Cassandra got to hack my Facebook? My mother-in-law was the, uh, my mother-in-law was the very next day. Oh, your mother-in-law got hacked the very next day. Okay. I was thinking Amy, Wesley's sister-in-law, uh, heir or Cassandra's daughter. Okay. You could leave that question up. Lovely folks in the back. So was it someone in the family that Cassandra got to hack your Facebook? Um, and then it was your mother-in-law as well. So yeah, it does seem to be quite targeted towards the family. Let's take a look here. Was it someone in the family that Cassandra got to hack your account? I am getting a yes. Uh, yes, I do believe that it was. Uh, and when you said your mother-in-law was the very next day, absolutely. It feels like it was uh, quite a coordinated attack um in that in that sense i've got the ten of cups here with the three of cups reverse and the page of wands where it, it's a very uh petty action but it seemed like uh, a low blow that was willing to be landed uh at that at that moment so if i can have that question back up please for just a moment just want to make sure i've got these names correct uh so you were thinking amy so is who is amy is this someone in the family as well so you said Wes's sister-in-law heir or Cassandra's daughter. So let's see if I can get a sense of who, in fact, this was. Amy, Wes's sister-in-law or Cassandra's daughter. Who was this? I am I am feeling like it's the daughter, but let me take a look. Well, here's the other interesting part of that is it doesn't feel, she says it got completely locked and his mom's Facebook the next day. Yeah. So it, it, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. It hit you and then it hit his mom. So it, it I also want to say it looks like uh, three people seem to be involved. She says, yeah. So where it says it's her and the daughter, someone else had to help. Um, is, does it make sense? Is there another woman close by within proximity that would be able to help? Because it doesn't feel like her on her own. This reflects back sort of to our earlier reading as well, where it's like, I don't know that she on her own is, is powerful enough or has enough skill to cause any real damage in your life. So it definitely feels like she has uh, recruited help definitely in her family. Um, with that Ten of Cups, I mean, absolutely. This, this was a family endeavor of three people getting together because she, like, she wasn't able to, to manage this on her own, the daughter and one other person was also involved. She says, sister-in-law, Amy or Alicia. Okay, let me see. Either Amy or Alicia. These, like these are two separate people, I'm presuming, just with that question. It looks like, I wanna say it looks more like Amy. She says Charlene, uh, Amy and Alicia. Are they, so these are the three women. Okay, because it's kind of coloring in uh, a little bit more. Amy seems to be a bit more of the hands-on type, whereas Alicia feels like she was there to help, there to uh, to provide the technical support of things. It feels like this was also done almost by a phone call. I don't know if they don't live super close together, but it was like they were getting together in some online fashion to be able to coordinate this. It was I have no doubt in my mind that it was, in fact, them. Yeah. Okay. Because I've got the six of cups reverse here where it just feels like it, it is a reliving. It was sort of what I was saying about Cassandra as well, is that she can't move on and can't move past it. So she says, Charlene, Alicia, and Amy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> absolutely. I got the tower card reversed. So that, that absolutely was what they felt was a, a stroke of justice or what they thought was going to be a blow that would... And I mean, what a pain in the butt. I'm so sorry that your Facebook got hacked. It's such, it can be such a nightmare getting that all sorted out and getting, anyway. But yeah, it, it, she, she, they're just really not moving on. And it seems like a, a complaint circle where, is there anything else to concern yourself with? And I had asked that before. Again, I, I don't think, she said, yeah, they had a whole meeting about it. Absolutely they did. <laughs> yes. But again, I don't feel the need to warn you about how far she can go it just feels like this is a the, the energy feels like a mosquito type of thing where it's like it's around it's annoying 
it maybe can bite a little bit, but the worst it can do is, you know, potentially a bite and we scratch it for a while and then we all move on. So I feel like that's as far as she's going to be able to get in terms of being able to make your life difficult or more challenging. She's just sinking to these sort of petty type. Uh, oh, she's so petty. She, man, this woman needs to get things to do with her life. She says, uh, it didn't work far as I know. Excellent. And it, I, I feel like it's probably because her, like I said before, like her skill set, she's not powerful enough or not on her end, you know, skillful or educated enough to be able to get the things done that she is setting out to do. Feels like she's, uh, she says, Charlene is a bitter ex as well. Mm. I'm very sorry. You have to deal with this. These these bitter people. Like I've got the ten of cups, uh, ten of coins reverse was my last card down there, uh, which just a, a little revolving door of annoying folks to deal with. And I am so sorry that that is the case. But on the bright side, what I was seeing there is like she's she can't do too much. So. Thank you very much for your donation, my dear. I really helped support the show, and I, I hope that that was helpful for you. Good luck. Keep your chin up, and like you said before, you know, make sure you keep in focus the exciting and wonderful things going on in your life. So, folks, we have got a winner for the emoji contest. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it, folks. We have got our winner. Taylor, congratulations, Taylor. You have won the emoji contest tonight, uh, and with the note that it was a very close race. It was absolutely wild. You should see all of these beautiful emojis that have been flying by my my screen here tonight. That was so lovely to see. Uh, congratulations, Taylor. I, I thank you, everyone who has played along tonight and who has um, shared these beautiful emojis. Audrey says, well, thanks. Yeah, they are all horrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but they're, they, they can only get so far, my dear. You can only get so far. Um, yeah, so congratulations, Taylor. This is going to be for you tonight. Um, if you have a specific area of life that you're interested in, in me applying this to, do let me know. Otherwise, I will just, as I said, the game winners are the only time that I will read generically or generally speaking uh, on this show. Otherwise, we do keep it to the specific questions. So let's take a look here. For you, Taylor, my dear, congratulations again. Taylor, you're still sending these beautiful emojis. What is the message that we have for you tonight? Okay. Okay. Aw, this is very sweet. All right. Taylor says, um, uh, okay, here we are. Taylor, my dear, I have got three cards for you. The first one says, uh, let love be your beacon. Sorry, this is game time at the bottom. I thought it was a it was a, a, a note. So we have let love be your beacon. We have clear endeavor. And we have keep your dreams alive. Which those those two cards on either side say a very sing a very similar song. So I think this message is quite strong and quite important for you at this moment. So where it says, let love be your beacon and keep your dreams alive. Um, if you're feeling either un, a, a little bit unmotivated or feeling like certain certain things are maybe out of your reach, or it almost feels like this is asking you to combat a sense of complacency within yourself or combating anything that you are settling for or settling with. Where I have the, you know, keep your dreams alive. It's like injecting a, a sense to, you know, to not forget the things that really excite you or the things that would be very important for you, what goals you really have for yourself. Where we have clear endeavor here, it's it's where I will say to you, my dear, uh, you know what it is that you want. With That's probably one of the strongest cards I could see in this string to be in the center of this message here, because it's one thing for me to say, you know, follow your heart, do what you, you know, make you happy, find your dreams and go after them. But where I have this card of clear endeavor, it's like, you know, you actually, if you, in your heart of hearts, if you were to sit with yourself, it's not unclear to you what is important to you and what it is that you really do want. But the fact that both of these cards have said, let love be your beacon and keep your dreams alive. It's, and you may find, yeah, you may just find that things feel a little bit 
either repetitive or mundane or that you're not growing in a certain way or you're not achieving the goals that you're looking for. But these cards are all pushing you gently, you know, are all really encouraging you to not give up on yourself and to not give up on the things that would would just be, you know, a feel what whatever it is that you could do to find the deepest levels of fulfillment. And with this clear endeavor, I think you know what it is. Don't think that that mountain is too big to climb or that it's out of your grasp or beyond your reach or not something you have access to because it's not just saying, you know, oh, what you love is worthwhile. It's saying you also know what that is and to make sure you keep feeding it. So I read this quote the other day and it was probably going to butcher it a little bit, but it was something to the tune of there, there's nothing worse than doing nothing when all you could have done was a little. So even if there's some goal you have for yourself that feels massive, out of reach, something that is so far from where you're at right now, if there's any little step that you can take to keep that dream alive, to keep, you know, what you can do every day to keep yourself motivated and excited for what it is that you're growing into and what it is you're looking to achieve next, that is absolutely a step that is worth taking. So that is the message that I have for you, my dear. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on the things that you know that you want, even if they're hard or they feel like they have been forgotten or they have been shuffled aside. They they need your attention. They are looking for you to rediscover and put some energy into, you know, and enjoying them, finding those for yourself. So that is um that is the message i have for you my dear thank you so much for all of the beautiful emojis i hope that was helpful and thanks everyone for all of the wonderful emojis tonight it was so very fun to see all of them uh fly up across my screen here this evening so um i will go ahead and and jump right back into readings i will say guys though we are heading towards the end of the show so if you're interested in guaranteeing a reading tonight um the donation link will be floating around and if you donate, you are you are guaranteed to get a reading this evening. Uh, but let's take a look at who we have next on our list. What is our next question, please? We have got Brandon. Brandon says, can you help me with this girl I like? I called her. Uh, she was beautiful. And I want to know, should I give up on her? All right. Can you help me with this girl I like. You called her. She was beautiful. And want to know if you should give up on her. All right, my dear, let's take a look at this connection with this girl you're asking about. And should you should you give up? Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay. All right. Uh, so what I want to say to you, my dear, is I, I feel like if she was, you know, uh, really interested in you at this time, she you would know um because to me she doesn't seem like she you know beautiful girl it sounds like a lovely person but in many ways i don't feel that she's subtle around what it is that she wants i don't think she's you know playing games or is is being um standoffish to do any sort of thing but it does look like the the pursuit seems to be more on your side whereas on on her side i also have the eight of swords reversed there for her so i don't know that she's She's either involved with someone else or she's not in a place where she's looking for a relationship right now. To me, I'm looking at her and it feels like her heart is fairly closed off um, to, to the connection with you at this time. So where you've asked, should you, you know, should you move on? I definitely think that's not a bad idea um, to not wait around for this person because it doesn't seem that she's, let's see. I don't think things are going to change for her situation in the short term. So I don't want to see you getting hung up on, on this person when you know you could you could put your energy and effort somewhere else so that's that's what i'm seeing for you there my dear i hope that that was helpful and and you know good luck it does i do think your 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 love life um will be experiencing a bit of a shift in the not so distant future is what i will say my dear so um thank you so much for your question thanks everyone for your questions tonight this has been so very much fun i absolutely love I uh, love these shows every Thursday night. So my show is at the same time every week at 10 o'clock Eastern time. And our next show will be on Monday night. We have the beautiful, the amazing Psychic K. She is on at 10 o'clock on Monday night as well. And 
Uh, do not miss her show. She is spectacular. We've got shows uh, every night of the week, Monday through Thursday, all at 10 o'clock. And you can find them here on My Psychic Connection, either on our YouTube channel or on our Facebook page. And do make sure you are, you know, subscribed to our channel because we do have lot, many live shows and we've also got content that comes out. We've got daily content, weekly content, a ton of cool stuff that goes on over on our YouTube channel. So do not miss that and be sure you're checking that out each and every day. All right, I'll go ahead and take my next question. Who have we got next on our wonderful list tonight? We have got Lexi. Hi, Lexi. Lexi says, um, the last few weeks have been a terrible time. My husband and I have separated and I've been pretty depressed. Do you see us being able to work things out? Thank you. All right, my dear. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry to hear that you're going through such a, a challenging time. My, my heart goes out to you right now. So let's take a look. Do we see the two of you being able to work things out, you and your husband. Let's take a look. You see you being able to work things out. Okay, so. I, what I will say is this, is it seems like, and I'm so sorry to say this, but over the next little while, I don't see this being a situation that changes or evolves super quickly between the two of you. Um, I have the card of letting go, suppression, reverse, postponement, courage, reverse, and abundance, reverse. So a lot of the this energy is just feeling very, very strained. And I know you said you've, you've just separated very recently here, where I don't think either of you are, are in a place at this moment in time to be able to to even you know come together or think about the idea of getting back together because it it just the breaking point that we are finding ourselves in right now is I, I'm so sorry it just seems like such a such a difficult time for both of you um, the card I have with this card here of courage it's come up reverse and it's I've said this before on the show when this has come up it's you know, trying to grow something in an environment that's maybe not sustainable or not the best for us. Um, with the cards flanking it, it doesn't feel that it's an impossibility that that there is, you know, sorry, my cat just jumped up, <laughs> um, that it's impossible for, for this connection to rekindle at some point in the future. But for now, um, you know, over the coming months here, I'm, I'm not really seeing this situation change between the two of you. It just seems that where things landed and the separation that that happened between the two of you is almost like it, it reached a breaking point and this breaking point needs a, a significant amount of time to heal so I, i'm so sorry my dear and i'm, I'm just sending you so much love um, do make sure to take care of yourself whatever it is that that you need um uh, you know, we're here for you and I'm just sending you so much love. I hope that things can get better. Uh, she says, yes, it did reach a bad breaking point. Thank you so much. You are so welcome, my dear. All right, guys, we are cruising right along. I'm just about to take my last question of the night. Um, this this hour always flies by so fast. I have such a good time here with everyone. Who have we got um, on it's our last question of the evening? <laughs> Folks, we are back. We've got another donation for the show. Thank you so very much for your donation and thank you for the support. Uh, One dollar of every donation is going to Female Strong this month and it really helps helps keep our channel going. So thank you so very much. This is for AI Bum. <laughs> uh, they have asked, will I have any type of relationship with Kelsey? All right, my dear, let's take a look. Do we see any sort of relationship between you and Kelsey? I have any type of relationship with Kelsey. Let's take a look. Okay. Let me see what's going on here. So, all right. All right. So, um, between you and Kelsey, what I'm picking up on here is that it looks like there is a lot more commitment to this connection on your side than on Kelsey's side. The 
it feels like, well, it almost feels oscillating in a sense. It's not quite where I'm going to say hot and cold, but Kelsey feels like I'm getting quite a cold energy around her when it comes to looking at you. I've got the hermit card, in fact. And when I see that in a, in a relationship context, the hermit card is a very solitary person, right? The hermit is not around other people. So it feels like despite your efforts and what you're trying to, you know, uh, create or, or um, build between you and Kelsey, it feels like you're, it's an uphill battle where you've asked, you know, will you have any sort of, of relationship? I can really see that you have certainly tried. I've also got the card of the eight of swords here in reverse where, man, it just feels like you, you have not to your lack of trying or your lack of effort in this con in this connection, but it feels that her heart is very almost uh, not off the market in the sense that she's, you know, with someone else necessarily, but with that hermit card, as well as the eight of swords, it's just very challenging to create and maintain a relationship with someone when they are either not interested or they're not they're not committing in the same way that you are. I've got the card of the six of wands that has come up in reverse between you. And it's kind of pushing me back towards the cards as reflecting on your side where, you know, I, I think there could be a, a potential for a good match here, but it's, I'm not seeing Kelsey meeting you halfway is what I want to say. I've got the devil card here in reverse as well. So whatever the, the dynamic is in your relationship with Kelsey at this time, um, it feels like it's going to get, I will say more strained. Uh, where it feels as though Kelsey will be pulling back even a little bit more, harder to reach. Um, maybe even just being, uh, I will say almost rude and or difficult to you. Um, let me see here. I don't know. Is Kelsey very kind to you? Um, where you're asking, you know, what kind of relationship or connection, I almost want to ask like, wh what is it that is keeping you uh, interested or or that is having you ask this question about seeking a, pot a potential or future connection with this person. Um, it feels as though that Kelsey uh, just you're just sort of an option to them. Aya says, uh, wow, yes, she was. It's like, you know, <laughs> she I'm, I'm getting the sense. I'm just going to say it self-absorbed a little bit like she will use people when it does not suit or them, I'm sorry, I don't know their gender, but Kelsey does not seem to be like an easy person to be around or be with. And I don't think that they're necessarily the best option for you. Oh, you could do better than than this Kelsey person. So I, I don't want you to hang up on, on them. And I certainly like with your question, will you ever have any sort of relationship? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I am not seeing it. Uh, they say, yes, she might have moved away with a boyfriend. Yeah, I mean, the, I'll, I'm very sorry, but it does seem that that door is quite closed and it's not worth your time to, you know, continue to put energy into this this connection because it would be, I'm sorry to say this, but it would be one-sided. It's not. It's just not worth your time. There are so many better people out there for you, my dear. Um, and, you know, I've got the Ace of Swords upright. It feels like a, a, a meaningful connection is not even that far away. At, at which point you decide to stop, you know, being energetically and and in a focused way hung up on this person. Um, they're, they're, they're not the one. They're not the one. This person is, is they're not even that great of a, they're not that kind to you either. And my, my heart is, is on your side at the moment. So I want to, uh, AI says, yes, I wasted a year and a pile of money on her. That makes a lot of sense. I'm so sorry that that happened to you, but whatever you can do, to cut that cord. She's, uh, she's in my will. Oh boy. Well, I am not able to discuss legal related things, but that, you know, take care of yourself. If someone has mistreated you, um, I would just say in every sense of the word, cut them out. Mm -mm. Nope, absolutely not. Um, thank you so much for, for your donation and for your question. I hope that that was helpful and, and do take care of yourself. Um, she's not worth it. No, she's not. Um, so thanks everyone. I can't believe we've reached the end of the show. My friend Ian's here. Hey Ian. Um, thanks everybody. This was wonderful. I